Hey, okay, I just wanted to show you this quick video uh, to show you, uh, to show everybody that doesn't have Photoshop how easy it is to modify a Photoshop graphic, especially one of these in, uh, infographics. So I'm going to go to a site called uh, Photopia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. <laughs> Photopia. Okay, so when you go to the site, you're going to come to this screen. Okay, so you want to go under the file menu and open, and then you're gonna search for the infographics that are in a folder on your hard drive somewhere. So you click on one of the Photoshop infographics, and you're gonna get some warnings because you may not have some of the fonts loaded, but that's okay. Okay, once the, uh, the messages are gone, you can go over here to the uh, magnifying glass click it and then click inside to make this bigger if you need to see it and now over here on the right you're gonna see a bunch of layers with a bunch of eyeball graphics if you uh, uncheck an eye an eyeball you'll notice watch this 10% here it goes away comes back it's hiding it it's showing it okay if you want to edit the 10% go over here to the text tool and we'll say 15% uh, and then you're going to have to go to this move tool here and you're going to click on the word reading then go back to the text tool and now reading is selected and now you can say sleeping if you want to <laughs> okay and same thing go back to the move tool and this is not quite the title you want perhaps you want to say the cone of go back to the text you put First select it, then go back to the text tool, and you say something like, oh, and I don't have this font on my computer, so it's going to do that. I'll show you how to change that in a second. The cone of sleeping. And then you just play around with a whole bunch of other things, like uh, the fonts. Let's say I want to change this whole thing here, so I select it. And here is the font tool. It's kind of hard to see, but when you click it, it shows you the fonts that uh, they have built in. And then I think it'll show you fonts that you have in your uh, on your computer. But if you click on some of the fonts, you can change it um, to shrink it. It says 72, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit here like this. Go back to the Move tool to unselect it, select it. Okay, once I'm done modifying the graphic, I then come up here to File, just like any other uh, graphics app you have, and I save it as a PSD file, or I export it as a PNG. Uh, this looks good. Okay, fine, my size. Save it, and it's going to save to my Downloads folder. And when I open it back up, there is my modified Photoshop graphic without using Photoshop.